So let's say we want to start with a really clean tone. What I've dialed up here is their example of what I perceive to be a Fender twin. Uh, they call it the duo. And it's basically just a, a Fender style twin on a 212 cabinet. And you can see all the tone controls that um, are, are reminiscent of that amplifier. And I have it super dry, but nice and clean and jangly. But well, what I wanted to show you is how we can maybe add some more effects in to make it more of an atmospheric type of tone. And we're going to get some reverb, delay, maybe a little compression. So you can hear that we took just a basic clean tone and added some spice to it. And let's take a look at it. We'll start with the reverb. And what's cool is I put the reverb on the end of the chain. And I have it pretty gassed as far as Fender reverbs go. They get pretty intense quickly. Um, if we go and take a look at the delay, I have the, de the delay, the last in the chain before right in front of the amplifier, so it's kind of like hitting the front end of the uh, of the amp like it would normally on a Fender, because on a Fender amp of its type, uh, there'd be no effects loop. What's great too, we take that tape echo sound, we can turn the feedback up. If you don't know what feedback is, that's amount of repeats that we're actually hearing. So a lot of, a lot of trails, essentially. And you can get away with that sound if your mix or your, is not too loud. But if you turn your mix up... You start to differ, have a hard time differentiating between what is the actual guitar signal and what's the delayed signal. Uh, and I have a compressor on in front because I want sort of all those notes again kind of being held together nice and, nice and tight. <laughs> But if I wanted to get crazy, I could turn on some rotary. You can hear how we're kind of driving. A little bit of overdrive hitting that amp, which is really cool. Very touch sensitive, very responsive. I could even... Put on a little bit of that white boost we talked about earlier. That sounds really good. What's cool about that pedal is it's hitting the amplifier in a really natural way, so it feels like there's that natural overdrive happening. So you can hear you can get more traditional sounds, you can get kind of groovy with some uh, some more atmospheric stuff. Really, if you think can think about it, uh, I'm sure you can dial the tone in with this box. So we got one more segment to go. I want to look at how we can use some of these sounds when we're recording with Pro Tools and some of the cool functionality involved with that. So let's go let's go to that next segment and I'll see you there.